Hello again and welcome to my guitar fetish uh, order number two uh, unboxing. Unfortunately on this order somehow even though they labeled it that it was guitar repair parts uh, customs seemed to feel otherwise and dinged me for fun so I'm not impressed with that and don't know if I can blame guitar fetish for that. But uh, anyways uh, as you can see here, the box seems to be very solid. Uh, it doesn't seem to have any dings per se. Um, not labeled properly. Um, in this unboxing, um, there should be uh, probably one of the first um, guitar fetish uh, hand wired uh, loaded um, uh, strat pickguards. And I'm venturing to guess I'm probably going to be one of the first people with one of the red active uh, single coil loaded pick guards on the net and probably on YouTube here. Uh, you'll find that oh, we're supposed to be getting that. A gold football jack plate for the guitar as well. And some gold screws to install the pick guard with. So let's begin. I will be eventually later on uploading a video with the pick guard installed. Uh, barring all the parts on it are in working order. And then uh, I will also at that time be also putting up a sound sample of what it sounds like. I was kind of hesitant to go with active pickups, but in hearing the guitar demos so far, the single coils, um, it just seemed like a good idea. Um, and, I mean, if not, the reality is I can always pull the parts out of it and uh, and just uh, get another set of pickups put in, in its place. So... <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. Our invoice. Uh, international service on average. Full bag of gold pickguard screws. Strat jack plate football gold free green jack. GFS red active USA custom shop. Hand wired pickguard assembled. Pickguard finished black three ply. Hardware color white. Red Active White EQ Switchable Set. I paid the extra $9 for the um, EQ Activatable. It actually has a little switch on the uh, back of the pickups that you can actually flip it up and it'll give you, um, it can give you a, I think it's a 12 dB boost in treble, uh, 12 dB boost in gain, or a overall 10 dB boost on the actual pickup itself. So I figured it was worth the extra $9 to pay for that. And I mean, who knows when they're actually going to um, get out and or change it up more. Gold jack uh, with screws and such. Nicely wrapped. So far, I've been very impressed with guitar fetish in the packaging of their items. It looks like apparently they've put the uh, gold pickguard screws and the football jack all in the same packaging. Gold pickguard screws and gold football jack. Doesn't seem scratched. Now onto the piece de la resistance, so to speak. Again, another nice piece of foam here. And very nicely put together. Apparently they put the pick guard in upside down, but that's fine. Nicely wrapped sleeved. They've packaged it very nicely. They've done a really good job in the way of keeping it packaged. 
I didn't know the, how they would actually go about doing this, but if I can get the darn bulb rat sticky stuff to stop sticking, I can pull it out better here. <coughs> okay. This should, in theory, connect to my Made in Mexico 95 strat. And, well, it's like they double wrapped it. So, basically this is what it should look like. Oh, it's got a bit of a scuff here, it looks like, and scratches, but and it's plastic on top of that, but I thought the Guitar Finish logo things were going to be a bit different, but this is basically it. This is GFS and their 3 Red Active. It's exactly what I ordered. Black, white, black pickguard. And again, on the back, fully wired. There's the pickups, and as you can just barely see, the three little toggle switches, which I can't get the cam to focus it right, but they should be all set to normal, but it looks like they're all set boosted. And um, wiring harness. 9 volt battery jack and the plug connection for it as well too. So, that said, looks in proper order. Looks a little scratched or something on the back, but otherwise looks appropriate. Switch is a little hard to flip sticks it a little more than I thought it would, but oh well, I can't be too picky. So, I'll install it and see how it goes. Hope you like my unboxing, and I'll catch you later.